as you can see, we've got sediment fan coming down. And I mean, I mean, given the slope of the land and the way the cultivation's going, it's going to be inevitable if you haven't got any, anything in protection that you are going to get these. Now, what is really good is that the farmers put this bank in here because before he did that, all of the sediment was washing out onto the A47, which is obviously creating quite a danger for traffic. It's not ideal from a pollution point of view, far from it. And that, as you can see, is holding up a lot of it. Although with what we've had this year, you can see it's starting to get, so it's creeping over the top a bit. And I think if we had a bit more bad weather, that might burst over that bank. So it is worth, if you can't relocate any of your gateways for whatever reason, or if it's you know, a temporary measure, if you can just put a bank in there, something just to hold it back, that will really make quite a big difference. Something else that, as we do, under the capital grant scheme, we can fund for relocating gateways and then doing the associated gapping up works and the hedges that go with that. So I say, if you are starting to notice big issues, put a bank in for the time being, just marin some earth up, or apply to us and we'll see if we can come out and have a chat with you about moving your gateways around to another side of the field, gapping up that stuff so it's not causing so much of an issue. The other thing is, I don't, want, don't know whether some of you are in entry level stewardship or higher level stewardship, so you can apply to there to have buffer strips going down. I've read some research recently that says buffer strips only tend to be very effective when they are on slopes if they're getting towards sort of 6, 8, 10, 12 metres wide. So rather than having just a thin strip, you really do need a block of grass. And they will then obviously stop all the sediment running off and onto the road. And the amount of soil that you're losing from the farm, the amount of nutrients that are in that there, it just doesn't make economical sense to be having all that coming off. Yeah, if you want to try and capture that wherever possible. Things as we've talked before about coming on at the right times, improving your soil structure, having the right machinery, not having the right tyre pressures, all of those will help to stop you losing soil. So yeah, we've got this, this big deposition fan here, stands out like a sore thumb. You've got a bit of a converging hill slope feature, so that's always a, a, a high risk point there, but we, we are lined up there with, with a trafficking location from, uh, from the tractor wheelings, from the spray operations. Uh, so, you know, potentially that's a, a combination of, of movement that way, movement that way has brought all the water here. The, um, when you get to a feature like this, the, the largest soil particles tend to get deposited first. So that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the, the, the larger sand sized particles, the fines, the silts, the clay in suspension. You've, you've, you get less of that, uh, less of the fines, and then you'll see that as you move further away, it takes longer for those fines to get deposited. And sometimes you don't see that at all because it's ended up in the river and in the point of impact, which is uh, the concern, of course, because that'll take with it the, the nitrogen or the phosphorus uh, and any surface applied products. So, um, so yeah, so maybe low ground pressure tyres there might have helped. Um, that, that might have reduced the risk. Um, that would certainly be worth thinking about. But um, I support what you were saying about buffer strips. It's a combination, really, of, of not just focusing on, on edge of field solutions, which are part of the, they're part of the solution, but they're not a panacea. If you've got a, if you've got a, a channeling effect of the water within the field area, I think any buffer strip in the world won't be enough. So you need to try and mitigate the, the channeling within the field and, and adopt a more combined process that has uh, infield ma management options as well as, as edge of field management options. And, and together on the most difficult landscapes, um, that combination can help uh, avoid the problem that, that we can see here today.